Ember tetra is one of the most beautiful and popular freshwater fish. Their color and beauty truly set them apart from other tetras. These fish are relatively easy to take care of and are perfect for beginner aquarists. They get along with all fish and are the ideal addition to your community tank, although you will want to protect them by not keeping larger and aggressive fish in the same tank as them. Larger fish and aggressive fish could bully them, causing undue stress to your ember tetras, or the larger fish could actually eat your small ember tetras, which would be tragic. In order to avoid such situation, let's take a look at some of the most suitable tank mates for ember tetra. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Cory catfish are peaceful, hardy fish that are popular amongst aquarists due to their calm temperaments and unique appearance. These fish are native to South America and regions east of the Andes Mountains extending all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. They spend the majority of their time minding their own business at the bottom of the tank, peacefully scavenging for food or resting. They are peaceful fish that hide at the bottom of the tank during the day and shoal with other fish in the evening. They like to stay in a school of at least five to six fish. They will be a great tank mate for ember tetra. Brisboras are a beautiful freshwater fish that are loved by aquarists because of their ease of care and stunning appearance. This species is native to Asia and is commonly seen around Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. These small shoaling fish are easy to care for and making them perfect for beginners starting a community aquarium. Most of their time will be spent in the middle layers of the water, rarely journeying to the surface or substrate. The larger the group, the more impressive their movements and colors will be. Risboras are peaceful fish and would be a great tank mate for ember tetra. Danio is a freshwater fish that are popular amongst aquarists due to their social and peaceful nature. They originate from tropical and subtropical waters in India, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. Danio care is a relatively straightforward process. Thanks to their adaptable nature, these freshwater fish will easily adjust to most environments they're put in. They are active, playful fish that get on well with most fish in a community tank. They swim quickly around the upper and middle sections of the tank, and they're more active in the day than at night. They will be a good tank mate for ember tetra. The neon tetra is a freshwater fish of the tetra fish family. Neon tetras have vibrant blue bodies with striking red markings from the belly to the tail. Because of their hardiness, neon tetras have low care needs, making the fish a popular choice for beginner fishkeepers. Neon tetras are found in the northern and western Amazon basins in Peru, Brazil, and Colombia. They are non-aggressive schooling fish that get along with other peaceful fish of a similar size. These fish swim in the middle of the water column and enjoy playing and hiding in underwater vegetation. The more comfortable a neon tetra feels in its environment, the less frequently the fish will hide. They should be kept in a school. They will be a great tank mate for ember tetra. The tiger barb is an amazing freshwater fish that are fairly easy to care for, beautiful, and very active. Though they have a bit of a reputation as nuisance fin nippers, these fish are not harmful and will do just fine in the right tank. These fish are naturally found throughout Southeast Asia, and they originate in Borneo, Indonesia, and Sumatra. These fish are very competitive and will form small hierarchies where they will compete for dominance. They are showy, active fish that like to be out in the open. You can watch them chase, bump, and nip at one another in the middle levels of your tank. They must be kept in a school of at least six individuals. They should be a great tank mate for ember tetra. Cardinal tetra is a small freshwater fish of the tetra fish family. They grow up to two inches and are popular among aquarists because of the fish's captivating colors and peaceful nature. These fish are active and ideal for community tanks. Cardinal tetras reside in throughout South America. They're mostly found in the Orinoco and Negro rivers. Though, their distribution is quite vast. Any people actually mistake cardinal tetras for neon tetras. The main difference between cardinal tetras and neon tetras is the length of the stripe. For neons, the red color only marks half of the body. Cardinal tetra care is pretty easy for the most part. This species is not very fussy and can thrive as long as you keep them in the right conditions. They will be a great tank mate for ember tetra. Dwarf garami are one of the most popular freshwater fishes. Not only are they beautiful fish, but dwarf garami are also very easy to keep and won't require a lot of work on your end when it comes to taking care of them. They are shy and easy going and won't make trouble with other fish in your tank. However, they do choose to stay together since they are schooling fish. Dwarf gauramas are peaceful and tolerant neighbors. They prefer to be placed in a tank with non-aggressive and relatively small fish. 
they should be a great tank mate for Ember Tetra. The guppy is a freshwater fish belonging to the Posolidae family. They are beautiful, flowing fins and colorful body make this fish a popular choice amongst aquarists. Guppies are some of the most commonly available tropical aquarium fish. They are shy, peaceful fish that are adaptable, low cost, and easy to care for, making them good introductory fish for beginner aquarists. They are native to parts of South America. Guppies are calm, laid-back fish with no aggressive or territorial tendencies. They are recognizable due to their small slim bodies. Different subspecies of guppies have their own unique colors, markings, and tail types. They should be a great tank mate for Ember Tetra. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.